this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and just initial first rapid fire thought on the Drinkmate Omnifizz. I've got a low end SodaStream Terra right here as well, just for a quick comparison. We're going to be doing a number of different drink tests and cocktail tests between these two devices. In this video, I just want to unbox the Omnifizz and take a look and see how it looks. Drinkmate, make life sparkle. I like that. I want to make my life sparkle. Carbonate any beverage. You know, so obviously the big selling point of Drinkmate is the ability to carbonate not just water, but uh, fruit juice or cocktails that you've already mixed up. Because of the way it's designed, you're able to do that. That's going to be what we'll be testing later. For right now, let's see what's in the box. Fairly small box. We've got User manual, an empty canister cardboard container. I bought this without a CO2 cylinder and I have plenty of these standard uh, screw in threaded CO2 cylinders. You already have a CO2 cylinder, just get the one without. All right, we've got some more cardboard. Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, black, okay, this looks like drink mate itself. Nothing else in the box, feels pretty lightweight. You know, this model was I think $110 not expecting a super premium feel or look. It's very plasticky, it's very lightweight. I don't hate the design, kind of very rounded and sleek. So similar to the Soda Stream, it's like you kind of pull that out. Ah, okay. So, oh, interesting. So there must be a mechanism in the bottles here where the stuff is actually mixed so it keeps it out of the main contraption area. So, there in, so to remove this, just go like this and then pull out. Oh, interesting. Don't know what that does yet. There's a, some sort of blue tab here. Cool, all right, just assuming. Oh, okay, so you'll see like in the soda stream, this part here, you know, is attached to the device, whereas on the drink mate, it's all a part of this top bottle component. Let's take a look at the bottle here. Bottles are probably not dishwasher safe, yep. Not dishwasher safe. I'm really intrigued by this. This is so different than a normal, you know, SodaStream bottle. It's just a bottle. This has a whole contraption in it here. This is gonna be fun to play around with. This is like shipping a bottle here. This, oh, I bet you this goes on top. Yeah, so if you're, if you needed to close up a bottle without attach, attaching the, the component here, like let's say you just wanted to put it in the fridge, you could probably just use this top here. Cool, well, this seems pretty straightforward. I'm gonna, there's a depressor here at the top. Let's look at the back here. There's a cap, placeholder cap in there. We've got the bottle, we've got the fake, or the bottle topper. We've got the kind of drink component. This is called the fizz infuser. Cool, so I've got a CO2 bottle here. It looks like you place it there first and then screw in. Okay, you know what? I mean, this has been a pretty quick unboxing. I think we should just make a drink real quick. See, only use pulpless beverages. For high foaming beverages, fill the bottle halfway and carbonate using short bursts. So if you had something, let's say like, I'm gonna be testing and making like a Kool-Aid drink. Kool-Aid, when you add sugar and water, is gonna fizz up quite a bit. You know, maybe it'll only start with half. It's interesting that you can carbonate with only half of a bottle. That's very different than the soda streams where they definitely need to be filled to the fill line. I think I have an idea of how this works. Grab some water real quick. <laughs> So we're back. I brought soda stream bottle as well, just to kind of show you the comparison here. Filled this up to the max fill line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pretend I'm just doing water, which not really pretending here. It's gonna be similar to how you carbonate with the soda stream. Let's just do it, see what happens. Ooh. Seems powerful. Okay, so that's saying I should stop. So I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm curious about this compression. Okay, so that releases some pressure. That releases fast. Cool. Oh, so you're gonna wanna, <laughs> you're gonna wanna release some of the pressure. So I definitely overpressurized that because that was, uh, not the safest of things, although it was fine, but uh, a little startling. Probably want to remove some of the pressure or not do that extra press that I did. So when you hear that noise, you stop your carbonation. Interesting. This thing's powerful. I'm going to just taste it real quick. Fizzy. Not like crazy fizzy, like definitely can get more. Mmm. Mmm. 
hmm, that isn't as carbonated as, as it should be. It's, um, maybe I need to release more of the pressure. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, because kind of going fully max carbonation on a soda stream or like an arc would be probably two or three times as fizzy as this tastes. So I'll have to play around. I'm gonna try, I'm curious on how you can fill this or how you can carbonate, you know, when it's not fully. Let's try this. Okay, so we're gonna stop and I'm gonna release some pressure. Ah, maybe that's, maybe we need to release all that pressure. Then we can easily remove the top, safer. Ooh, see, that's good. Mm, that's good. That's like max carbonation, basically, that you can get into water, so that's good. Okay, cool. So good to know how to use this um, release valve. Final thoughts here as we kind of wrap up. I like the design. It's not particularly different than the soda stream. A little bit shorter, about the same profile. This was the unboxing and just kind of a first initial thoughts of the Drinkmate Omni Fizz. So I'll be playing around with this the next few weeks and releasing a number of videos comparing it to different soda streams, making different beverages with it. Excuse me. Yeah, that was bubbly. Excuse me. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching and uh, look for more videos about the Drinkmate in the coming weeks and months.